Almost that Deuteronomy 28 oh my We got a love on each other Our sisters and brother He cook I'm in no time Most I lift me up when it's showtime I pray have mercy upon mine Don't wanna be around when it go down No, no We the chosen one Twelve tries we gon' overcome Babylon know it's overdone Look what they did to the chosen one We the commandments for And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. It is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. All right, so with that, we'll open up. Call hello. Yeah, how about Shem Yahushai, about Shem All right, we're the brothers from the prophets in Babylon, uh, Tampa, Florida. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach in Ruel. Peace and infinite salutations to the elect scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity. All right, and we out here, uh, you know, uh, doing a lesson. Uh, the evening brought us into the feast of the blowing of the trumpets. And that's what we out here doing right now. We blowing the trumpet, you know, uh, giving warning, warning you Israelites, you know, warning the world that we are at the end of this man's rulership. All right, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, and Jacob, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, we about to be next, man. All right, everything that you see happening on earth, this is Bible prophecy, all right? And the Lord has commanded us out here to, to blow this trumpet. You know, now uh, in the ancient world, we would actually have a, a holy convocation. No no work would be done. You would blow the trumpets, you know? And now we're doing that uh, spiritually, man. You know, we're blowing the trumpet by uh, lifting our voice up, all right? But go ahead, read that one more time. And then we'll go to the next verse. This is Numbers chapter 29, verse 1. And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have an holy convocation. So we are in the seventh month, all right? And we have been brought into a holy convocation, the Feast of the Blowing of the Trumpets. All right, uh, last night was the Sabbath, so we got a double Sabbath service. So all praise to see how Bashmi how was shy. All right, go ahead. And it says, ye shall do no servile work. It is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. There you go. And right now we're blowing the trumpets, all right? We're gonna go into a little prophecy. Uh, and we, we're giving warning at the end of the day. We're warning you people what's about to come to this earth. Uh, World War III, uh, the microchip, the crash of the dollar, uh, the digital currency, central bank digital currency, the lockdowns, uh, Revelation 12 and 12, the devil coming down with great wrath. Esau, hey, Esau about to roll, man. You know, Esau about to come down with that great wrath that he has towards you Israelites, man. All right, but go ahead. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's what we do. We go out here, we, we teach the word, and we lift our voice up like a trumpet. All right, and now this, this video is on the World Wide Web, going live throughout the four corners of the earth. Anybody can watch this video. And the scriptures say, this gospel must be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then, then shall, shall the, the end, end come. come. And we watching the end being made manifest, pursuant to uh, 2 Ezra 9 and verse 5, the scriptures say that the end is being made manifest. Now we see the digital currency. Now we see the, the microchip. We see people paying with their hands. All right, we see the crash of the dollar. They brought out the, the Brinks dollar, which is uh, one U.S. Yeah, the BRICS dollar. One U.S. dollar is equivalent, or yeah, one U.S. dollar is equivalent to fifty-five dollars in the BRICS. No, no, no. Fifty-five U.S. dollars. Fifty. Yeah, fifty-five U.S. dollars one is, is one brick. So the uh, the dollar is crashing. All right, the American dollar is done. You got all these other nations uh, coming out with uh, currencies, and they're backed by assets and gold. So they about to usher in the MOTB, man. All right, and we're giving, giving you warning. Say it one more time, the, the dollar, what was it? Uh, 55 US dollar is equal to one brick. There you go. All right, that's, that's hey, that's how you know we in inflation. The, yep. the state of this country is going down in the turmoil. That's it. But this is uh, Isaiah 58 and one, cry aloud, spare not. So we're not, we're not gonna spare your feelings. You're not gonna spare how you feel. At the end of the day, like the scriptures say, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth. We're going to tell you the truth. Whether you hear, whether you forbear, whether you like it, whether you believe. You got a lot of unbelievers in the world now. We, we talk about World War III. Oh, I don't believe that's going to happen. My great-great-grandparents used to, nah, well, guess what? Now they talking about pressing buttons and shooting nukes over here, man. All right? 
Uh, and we're not only telling Jake there, you know, about what's going to come, but we're also telling these heathens what's going to happen to them in the near future. That's right. So we're not going to spare anybody, man. The Lord is not going to spare nobody because all everybody's going to hear this message. Okay. It says, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. And do what? Show my people their transgression. So we are to show you your transgression. All right, Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We go to the highways and hedges. We do these lessons to inform you that you are in sin. You're transgressing the Most High. And to start coming back to the Lord and defending Him less so you can be saved. All right, when we talk about World War III, you don't want to be caught up in that. You know, you want to be saved from the destruction. That's what it means to be saved. It's to literally be saved out of World War III, that nuclear destruction that's coming, man. All right? And it says, in the house of Jacob, their sins. That's what we're doing. We're showing the house of Jacob their sins. You come to be an Israelite, you got to put off your former sins. Put off your old ways. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashmi, I was shy. You know, change your diet. You know, uh, do things that please Yahweh Bashmi, I was shy, man. I got something real quick uh, touching on what the brother said. Because at the end of the day, we out here, we we prophesying, okay? Not only to Israel, but the whole world is hearing this thing, man. This is Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near you nations. So the nations are hearing this too, man. All the nations of the earth. Wait, hey, we're supposed to prophesy against Mount Seir. We're supposed to prophesy against Russia, against China. We're supposed to prophesy against all these kingdoms, man. Let them know that Yahweh Shai is coming back to take the crown off of all these king's heads, man. All right? It says, uh, come near you nations to hear and hearken you people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them he hath delivered them to the slaughter. All right, so the indignation of the Lord is what? Those ICBMs, the nuclear missiles, all right? And it's upon all the nations, man. All right, the, the death and destruction, all the nations that had a hand in destroying us ultimately are gonna be destroyed, man. All right? It says, uh, their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, all right? I'm gonna read one more, you can break this one down. It says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Right, which is which is the nuclear missiles, man. Once they hit the ground, you see like a mushroom cloud, there you go. okay? And everybody that's still on the land of America is gonna be melted by fervent heat, okay? You're gonna be, you're gonna be destroyed here. They show you that in Terminator mm -hmm. with Sarah Connor holding on the fence. All right, these Edomites know, these type of link, top elite bankers know that nuclear destruction is coming very soon man that's why they put it on your movies your shows okay hey when the heavens roll it like a scroll man you're gonna see a big ass mushroom cloud just rising up they show you that with you know uh also with you know um twin towers the smoke just ascended up forever and ever man and it, so like it, they actually had it too recently in russia there was a, a mini mushroom cloud over there by in moscow man so Hey, this thing with Russia and Ukraine is heating up and you got uh, like 40, a lot of these African nations are joining onto Russia. Iran, China, you got China and Russia doing joint Navy drills. You know, you got battleships in the sea next to, next to America. You got um, China about to invade Taiwan. You got uh, North Korea and South Korea. So you got rumors of wars and, and death and destruction all over this earth. And this is what Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, told us to look forward to when he, before he will return. And all the signs are here, man. But it says, uh, finishing this off, it says, and all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. Now you can break this down too, it says, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Right, my sword shall be bathed in heaven. What's the Lord's sword? The ICBMs, right. all right? which stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Right. All right, when when the uh, missile gets shot off, it's gonna go through the atmosphere into outer space and then come back down and to hit its uh, landmark. You show, they show you that in Call of Duty, mm, all yeah, right? Yeah. 
It says, Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia, which is the Greek word of saying Edom. All right. Hey, this is this is Idumia today, man. Okay. And Babylon, America. Okay. It says, And upon the people of my curse to judgment. Right. So the Lord had cursed this uh this so-called white man, and he's gonna prepare him for judgment, which is the nuclear fire. Every Edomite is gonna be burnt to a crisp, man. And the ones that don't get hit by nuclear missiles. The light is gonna come down and bind them in, in chains. Man. That's right. Okay. Go to that. I got Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So right now we are watchmen. All right, in the ancient world, a watchman will be on his tower. He will be looking for danger. And when he saw danger, he would either blow a trumpet, ring a bell, uh, a siren, you know, to warn the, the inhabitants of the village that there was danger coming. So right now we're in the feast of the blowing of trumpets and what are we doing? We blowing the trumpet warning you that danger is coming. Death, destruction, famine, plagues, all right? Uh, a lack of food and water. People gonna be starving out here soon, man. The dollar is failing. When you driving on the interstate, you know, you see all these cars lined up. You see thousands and thousands of cars. Understand all those people about to be hungry soon, man. And when they hungry, what are they gonna start doing? They gonna start killing each other, man. They're going to start killing each other. When you when you go to the store and they tell you that it takes 50 U.S. dollars to get a carton of eggs, people are going to lose their fucking minds, man. So we ain't out here with a, a peace and love story, man. Now, at the end of the story, it's peace and love for the Israelites. But, hey, even for the, if, even for the elect, the elect have to go through Jacob's trouble, man. We got to go through this great tribulation, this time of trouble, a time of testing, the karagma being made mandatory. That's coming soon. You're going to wake up one day. The dollar ain't going to be shit. And you, they're going to tell you you got to have to take a microchip if you want to buy and sell, man. All right? And I, I want to add on yep. to it because the Jake, Jake they're, that's in this captivity, man, they're very comfortable. They're very comfortable. Now, the scripture tells you there's a time of love and a time of hate. A time of peace and a time of war, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Jake that's, that's here has been indoctrinated. They're in a comfortable, peaceful mindset, man. They're not worried about what's going to happen. Okay, they're not worrying about the destruction. They're not worrying about the Lord coming back because they think God knows their heart. Hey, but funny thing is, man, when the Lord judge you, man, he's going to pull that file on you, man. That's it. What have you done for me? Hey, the prophets were out there. The prophets were warning you, okay? You, hey, you may have, uh, some prophets may have friends in the world that see their videos, but they, they despise it. But guess what? The Lord's going to pull their file on that, man. That's right. Okay. And then, then it's going to be uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33. Right. Then shall it be known that a prophet okay. have been yeah, among them. Okay. You're going you to know that a prophet have been among you in that day, man. Because that's that's another reason why the Lord has us out here blowing his trumpet. And so this word can go to the four corners of the earth. So when judgment day comes, understand that this gospel, everybody done heard it, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody done heard it. Whether you walk by it, you, you scroll past it on the internet, you saw the brothers on the street. Hey, this thing had went out. All right. See, now we're in a time of war, a time of a brutal death that's approaching. The, de the death spirit is, is coming very fast towards America, man. And that's why we're warning you. Because once we're off the scene, it's not going to be, oh, can you teach me? Can you tell me what's going on? No, we're going to be off the scene, man. Okay. But this is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Yep, so we giving them warning. And with the words of the mouth of the uh the, the words of the mouthpiece of the Lord are coming from the prophets. Alright, and we warning you Israelites, get your life right before you get caught up in this trouble, man. Go ahead. It says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and yeah. thou givest him not warning. And that's what we do. We tell you that if you don't repent, you're gonna die. But if we don't give you warning, go ahead. Nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way right. to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So you're going to die. All right, but go ahead. But his blood will I require at thine hand. But his blood is going to be required at your hand. If we, if we don't warn you, then that's blood on our hands. And the Lord going to hold us accountable. When you know better, you hear this truth, you're supposed to come out here, become a teacher, and warn the sheep. You know, it's like when you see a brother going off, you're supposed to correct the brother. You're supposed to help a brother out of love. You don't want to see a brother destroy himself or, or be destroyed. So, you, hey, we at the end of the day, we doing these videos 
uh, to work out our own salvation and also to show love. At the end of the day, what we do is love. We love our nation. We love our people. But, hey, two-thirds of our people, they're destroyed. They're not going to get it. And they hate the Lord. All right? And really, the two-thirds got to fucking go, man. All right? Verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So we're doing this to deliver our soul at the end of the day. You know, and we, we got to give warning, all right? Let me grab this real quick. Uh, we can break it down. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. See, the prophets, hey amen, every all the prophets of old, hey, they've been, they've been warning you. It's not a fucking peace and, you know, hugs and kisses. The Lord is not coming with hugs and kisses, man. He's coming with sword destruction, and that's what the prophets were doing. Prophesy against Mount Seir. Prophesy, prophesy against Babylon, man. That's all the prophets before, they were warning you, telling you. All right, hey, guess what? A, prof, a prophet is not going to be, uh, what's the scripture? Uh, what's the paraphrasing? A prophet's not... Held in his own country, loved his own yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah what's going on, brother? Hey, yeah. Hey, John. How you doing? How are you doing, brother? What y'all doing? Oh, well, we up here, we, we teaching at the 12 tribes of Israel. Come around real quick, man. Okay. So, on this Judah sign, the lion. there you go, you see Judah the Lion, right? Mm -hmm. So, on this sign, it says the 12 tribes of Israel. What we're up here teaching, we're teaching, we, we're live right now, okay. is that. The 12 tribes of Israel are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Which, which one, which one you say that was? So what, what's your nationality, brother? Ne uh, Negro. So-called Negro? Mm -hmm. Okay, so right here, you see Negro, right? That means you would come from Judah. the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Have you heard that before? Yeah. Well, you know, I studied the Bible for uh, 10 years. They ain't do nothing but study the Bible. All crazy. I studied, I studied every religion. Yeah. Islam, Catholic. You know, all we did for 10 years, Never looked at TV. Uh -huh. All we did was spend the dollars for uh, 10 years. So, all praise. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Let me see if y'all can. Okay. Uh, you can see everything, but in one thing you can't see. What's that? I know, you can, uh, like, on this earth thing, you can see everything. You can see that camera. Right, right. You can see the tree. You can see that grass. You can see him. Right. What the one thing you can Go to Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. This is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the it's substance of things thing hoped for, the thing evidence of things not seen. Now, so that's the one thing you now, can't see is faith. Now, At now, the end of the day, faith can't be seen. So even when we tell you about, not you, just brothers in general, everybody in general, we come out here, we warn people that World War III is about to happen, America is about to be destroyed, that we the Israelites, it takes faith, you know? But the one thing you can't see, mm -hmm. and nobody ever thinks about it, you can't see yourself. You can see everything out there except yourself. And the only way you see yourself, that way he's the eating the spirit, talking the spirit, right. spirit. The only way you have to, you can see yourself is spirit. If you look in a mirror, you see an image. Right. But you could you could dictate that image. You could you could put it, make the image anything you want it to be. Right, so, right. So, if you can't see yourself, that's why people talk about people. You know, people buy cars and they do all that. You know what? Not for themselves. They let everybody else see it. You know that's what I'm right. That, so, so let me ask you now real quick. Mm -hmm. You know what the lake of fire is? What's that? That lake of fire is there. Go ahead, grab um grab uh the blue instruction. Yeah, get uh the elements shall melt the day of the Lord. Right. He said you you uh that you'll be the ones that didn't disobey will be in the lake of fire. But then he also says this out. He said, that's why you have to be. This is uh, 2 Peter Second Peter 3 and 10. Mm -hmm. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. So when we up here, we prophesying the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Which the Lord was a so-called black man. Right? He had white woolly hair, skin like bronze, right. like a burning in a furnace. And the day of the Lord is coming. Right. And the day of the Lord is when America is about to get hit with nukes. Everything you see around us, like you said, you can see this, you can see that, you can see the trees, it's all going to burn. Because America is going to get hit with nuclear missiles. That's prophecy. When, it, when the Lord comes back, he's coming back with ICBMs, missiles, uh, and death and destruction. Go ahead. 
And it says, in, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. A great noise. When that missile is hit the ground, it's going to be what? It's going to be a great noise. It's going to cause an earthquake. The whole earth is going to shake. Go ahead. And it says, and the elements. The elements. This, you, the, the bike, our bodies, everything's made of elements. Go ahead. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Shall what? Melt with fervent heat. Melt with fervent heat. Now, what weapon on earth can make the elements nothing, melt? Nothing going to make the heat like the lake of fire. The lake of fire. Well, you know it, what's going to cause it, the it lake gonna of fire? It's going to be spirit. It's going to burn spirit. What's going to cause the lake of fire is those nuclear missiles. Right. Let's see. It's going to burn. Lord. See, it ain't going to be no physical thing. I got you. you. Okay. Go ahead. You remember. This is Zachariah. Well, it ain't going to be a physical thing. Look, what they tell you in church is that hell is somewhere underground with a pitchfork and you burn in hell for eternity. That's all bullshit. Bullshit. You're right. That's yeah. lie. That's right. That's right. The, the lake of fire is going to come to everybody's front door. All right. You're going to wake right. up one day and everything going to be on fire around you. All right. In real life. He said in some, he's gonna take one and leave another. Other. Two in the bed. He's gonna take one out of the bed and leave the other. That's right. Because see, and what he what he's saying, it did be like a marriage. This is Zechariah 14 and 12. Zechariah. And then it says, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. That fought against fought, Jerusalem. Right. Who fought against us? Uh You, uh, know, you know, who, who, fought, who fought against the Israelites? You know who the Israelites, I said it, yeah, the Negroes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Latinos, mm -hmm. Native Americans. Who yeah, fought right. against us? Who destroyed us? Who killed us? Who raped us? Who pillaged us? The white man. That so-called white man. So who's the devil? The white man. The so-called white man. Uh, go ahead. And it says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand on upon their feet. What's going to happen to the so-called white man? It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. They're going to melt. All right. All the people that done fought against us, right. the Chinese, right. the Japanese, the Arabs, the so-called white man. But see, they hate. Go ahead. And it says, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Their eyes going to melt in their sockets. This going to happen in one hour. America's going to be destroyed in one hour. People going to be walking. All these proud-ass Edomites, these damn so-called Caucasians, they going to be walking one day, and then they going to melt. Right. The Lord literally going to melt them while they stand on their feet, man. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. The tongue gonna melt in your mouth. That's the final plague that's coming to America. The final plague that's coming to America is nuclear holocaust, man. All right. Now uh, grab um. Malachi. Yeah, Malachi. So something else I was gonna grab. Oh no, grab Job 9 and 24. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Job 9 and 24. All right, cause you, and you said I asked you who, who's the devil. The devil is the way. So-called white man. Listen, listen at this. See, every race hates the black man. Uh, right. The, 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 uh, Psalms 83. The, in the, like, like they, oh, hate, yeah, grab Psalms they hate the uh, Jews. They hate all this thing that, that anything. Well, who, that, well, that real that quick, who, who's the real Jew? Who, who is the real Jew? You a real yeah. Jew. That's right, that's right. Because look, 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 yeah. real quick. They fall in Judah. Judah. Judah, right. You know where yeah. the word Jew comes Judah. from? Right. Jew comes from the word Judah. Right. That's now short. These the sons. These are the sons of who? Huh? Who are they the sons of? They the sons of Moses. No, no, I, no, 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 Abraham. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Close, you close. Let me know. You close, though. I ain't been in for a minute. Let me know. I'll give you, I'll give you the answer. These are, you were right. These are the sons of somebody, but who, okay, okay. who had they, who Abraham's had their son? son. Abraham's son. Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and, and Jacob. Jacob. Abraham, Jacob. Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob. Right. So, and Jacob, Jacob had twelve sons. Twelve right? sons. That's right. And uh, so, with his twelve sons, he said, he said, okay, what I'm gonna do? He said, each one of them will have their own nation. Yeah, they don't own their own oh, nation. They got their own nation. And look, look, look. They, look. Go ahead and read it. You read it. What it say? Negro. West Indians. West Indians. West Indians. Uh, Haiti. Yeah, uh, Dominicans, Guatemala, to Panama, Puerto, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Cuba. Native Cuba. American Indians, yeah. Seminole Indians, yeah. Argentina to Chile, uh, Colombia, yeah. and Mexicans. Yeah. These are all the twelve. These are the children these of the Jacob. Right. These are the children of Jacob today. Yeah. We all brothers. We all brothers. All brothers. Right. But see, the thing is, is that most people when they come from another country. Real quick, hold on, read this. Go ahead, read that. Psalms 83. It's a Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tomo. So we have enemies. Right. We ain't supposed to be buddy buddy with the so-called white man and the Chinese, the Japanese. They trying to destroy us, man. Right. Every day that goes on, they trying to destroy us. Every day. 
So read it again. It says, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. They have a plan to come against us. Go ahead. And they and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate thee, they hate us. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel. All right, so they get together and they count they counsel together and they try to keep us down yeah. keep us destroyed yeah. that's why they put a bunch of sin in our neighborhoods all right you had a uh, thing where they, they put drugs into the hood right. go ahead and you see that with uh the un united nations man right. you don't see our people in the united nations you see yeah. all these other countries yeah. right. and it says and they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones the hidden ones the, the Israelites are labeled as the hidden ones. Why? Because we lost who we are. You walk around, people say, I'm black. You ain't black. That's a color in a crayon box. That's a color in a crayon box. You ain't black. You ain't seen them. You ain't black. They ain't never seen them. I ain't never seen a black man. You ain't never seen them. I ain't never seen a black. I ain't never seen a white man. What color the white man is in real life? Yeah. They, they, they red. They pale though, that's right, But because they, they got leprosy, but they red, like the devil, like the devil. Go ahead. And it says, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's what they want to do. They want to cut us off from being a nation. They want to destroy us all. They want to kill us all. That's why they put, they poison the food, they poison the water, what they, they, they poison the air. They done raped us, they pillaged us, they robbed us, they enslaved us. Right. And you know that's that's part of the gospel is that when we when, when the Lord come back, we're gonna put all these nations in slavery, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They gonna yeah. be slaves, just like we were slaves. Yeah, right. Right. They gonna be slaves. But we won't do them the way they do. You're right. You, I mean you said, said it right. He you said if you have an enemy, he said feet. Well, that's talking about your Israelites, Israel. brother. Yeah, 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 brother. Listen, listen, right. listen, listen. Because you got enemies among the Israelites too. Right. Uh -huh. Now, you was right when you said that we ain't gonna you know what they was doing to us? They was chopping our right. rods off. Right. They used to chop our dicks right. off, man. We ain't gonna be doing that to them. That's that's a heinous crime. But we still gonna beat the shit out of them. And they gonna they gonna be in the field. They gonna be picking off our grapes. They gonna be picking our cotton. They gonna be picking all of our stuff. They gonna be mowing our grass. They gonna be picking our weeds. That's that's part of the gospel. Go ahead. And it says they have said, "Come and let us and let us cut them off from being a nation." Let them do what? Let us cut them off from being a nation. That's what they was trying to do this whole time. That's why we went into slavery. That's why they divided and they conquered. Because they want to destroy us from being a nation. Right. See, so, that's just, that just like I tell them out there. That's just like uh, when the blacks was in slavery. They did the same thing the Israelites did. When they was up uh, on the Pharaoh. Right. They cried out and they started. And they studied. They learned from the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Back in the old days. Well, wait, real quick, what do you think we're doing right now? Hmm? We still, we, we still. crying out. We crying out. We crying right. out. And who are we crying to? The Lord. Lord. Right. Now, do you know the Lord's name? Who? Jehovah? No, oh. no, close. But that, oh. no, that's not it. That's not it. Oh, yeah. His name is Yahweh. Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. So when you pray, you got to pray to those names. What's your name? John. John? Right. So if you ride riding your bike down the street, and I go, hey, Mark. Hey, yo, Mark. Hang on. Why not? No, they ain't my name. Right, so, uh, how you think the Lord feels? <laughs> he said the same way. <laughs> he said the same way. Yeah, yeah that's right. So, look. If you, if anything, the, the most important thing I'm teaching you right now, brother, is the name of the Lord. Right. Yeah, Yahweh. Right. Say it with me. Right. Yahweh. Right. Yahweh. Yeah, you got to get Yahweh. it, brother. Yahweh. Yahweh. Because in that day, when the nuclear missile's coming, you're going to hear all these sirens yeah. going off, and you're going to want to call on somebody. Huh? He say, Pam, I'm going to call on her name and he'll tell them I never knew you. Hey, yeah, 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 that's true. He say, he say I'll say, he just, you're going to say, Lord, Lord. No, no. yeah. He say, he going to look at you and say, I hey, never knew you. I never knew. And the thing is that, see, the thing is that, see, he's, he's so great. You know what I'm saying? Who? Hey. Who is he? Huh? Damn, man, I forgot the damn name already. See, I'm trying to tell right you, brother, man. Pizza. I'm going to write it down for you, man. I got, yeah, got yeah, you. Because yeah. you got to get that name, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you catch a hell, you want to you wanna call on the Lord, man. Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't call on no Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Not no white boy. I got Ain't no white boy coming down, man. No, well, see, that just like the guy. Go ahead. Came. Grab it real quick. This is Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. Because this is all about salvation. Right. We want to be saved. Right. What does it mean to be saved? It means you want to get saved. When them nuclear missiles on the way, right. 
you want to be saved better. You want to get hit with a nuke. Right. You don't want to get hit with a missile. Right. So you want to be saved. Read it again. Acts 4 and 12. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. Right. For there is none other name. None other what? Name. name. So there's only one, one name. name. Right. You got God. Oh, God has many names. No, 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 no. He only got one. How, how, how is it that me and you got one name, yeah. but God can have many names? That don't make sense. Don't make sense. Because they're trying to hide the name of the Lord. Okay. And really the Lord, right now, he's restoring us back to our pure language. Okay. Our first, our original language is Hebrew. Okay. That's what we spoke. Okay. When we was in Jerusalem, we spoke Hebrew. Okay. Go ahead. It says, for there is none other name under heaven given among men. Given among mm -hmm. men. So I'm giving you the name. Okay. The name is given to you. Okay. Right? Read it again. It says, for there is none other name under heaven. Right. Given among men. Right. Whereby we must be saved. We must be saved. Right. And the scriptures say anybody that calls on the name is going to be saved. But you got to know the name. You got to know the name. If you don't know the name and you ain't been doing what the Lord asked you to do, he gonna, that's that's what's going to happen. He's going to say, I never knew you. So man. you got to know the name, man. Man, I was, I was hungry. I was, I was just coming from uh, my friend's house. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm glad y'all fed me good. That's oh, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. the spirit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. out here, brother, you know. Yeah, I be coming back too, you know. Uh, I don't got to try to go see if I can find something, find my cousin or something that I can get. You know? All right, man, take it easy, brother. Y'all be blessed. All right, you know. Be safe, Wait, hey, I thought you were going to give me a name. You're going to let me leave. What? You're going to let me leave without the name. You need the name, man. I don't know if I got a pencil, though. Oh, uh, what you say? Say it again. You got a pencil? Yeah, no. I think I got a pen, all right. In the car. Look, yeah, man. Yeah, I ain't about you to do. Uh, on your bike ride, keep saying it in your head. Yahweh? Yahweh. Yahweh shot. Say that all the way. Wherever you're going right now, say that the whole way there. Yahweh shot. Yahweh shot. Yahweh shot. Say that all the way. I'm going to see you, brother. Yeah, brother. Listen, listen. I'm going to see you again, man. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you, man. I'm going to come back up. I'm just going to see if... uh. If uh, my cousin home so I can get me some, some food. You know, I ain't eating day and a half, so I can probably get me something. All right, man. Yeah, how are you doing with stuff, man? I ain't done that. I don't know if I got any ones on me, man. Hey, yo! How long y'all gonna be out here? Huh? Yeah, man, I got, I, got, I, got, I, got a, I got a few ones, man. Hey, bro, God bless you, man. I'm so humble right now. There you go, brother. No, no, no. Man, man, man. All right, man. Me. Hey, see, y'all, you are blessed. That's it, that's hey, it. Like I tell people, I say, I say, what do you ride around and look for? And they say, I just ride around. I tell people, <laughs> I, I say, that's stupid. I say, nah, I say, nah a man that's looking for gold, he go by one of them machines, and he be all on the ground. I say, in the park, looking, for, looking for gold. I say, and I say, so the other thing is, I look for blessings. That's it. And see, when I get on this bike, I ride. I look for a blessing. And see, that's why I didn't even know what y'all were doing. But he told me, that something told me, hey, go over there. That's it, my sheep, hear my, my, my voice, man. Yeah, yeah, see. Uh, grab that real quick. Before you go, oh, we're gonna grab one more for you. And then on your way, where you going? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, Keep saying that, brother, keep saying that, go ahead. So this is John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. My what? My sheep hear my, hear my voice. voice. So when you, you came, you heard the voice. You heard the voice. The boy said, come over, come, oh, yeah, come over here real quick. Read it one more time. John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. And the sheep are the Israelites. Yeah. And at that, the elect. We out here for the elect. Majority of our people ain't going to make it, man. Yeah. A lot of our people, they're they not going to repent. They don't want to call in the name of the Lord. They want to continue to be wicked. So they're going to die here. Yo, shot. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh shot. Yahweh. Saying, hey, God bless y'all, man. Yo, you know. How long y'all gonna be out here? Maybe for a couple, uh, 30, 45 more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna run to the store. Yeah, how was shot, man? Okay, how was shot? All right. Hey, man, all right, man. So there you have it, man. We're at the end of the day. We're blowing the trumpet. Jake might get it, Jake might not. But at the end of the day, blood is off our hands, man. You know, you do what you can for Jake. You know, like the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make him drink. Brother seemed like he, you know, he knew the scriptures. You never know. You don't know who, who the elect can be, man. 
So you always gotta come with humility and you know help him help helping Jake get where they gotta be at the end of the day, man. Right. But you got anything? Uh, what was on Jeremiah 28? Yeah. Uh, go back to it. Yeah, go ahead, read it. This is uh. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8, says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms right. of war and of evil and of pestilence. And of war and of evil and of pestilence. Grab a feed my sheep, brother. If you love me, feed my sheep. All right, and that's what we out here doing. We prophesying a war. We telling you World War III is coming. We telling you great death and destruction coming. You know? We out here ultimately for the elect. We here for the elect, man. But go ahead. John 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh shall say unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Yeah, so Yahweh shall is asking Peter, which Peter's the head of the church. And if you can receive it, Peter's King David. All right, and Yahweh shall is asking Peter, do you love me? And that's like, imagine the Lord asking you that. Anybody can say God knows my heart or God loves me. Well, put yourself in this situation right now where the Lord, Yahweh Shai said, do you love me? Go ahead. He saith unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Yeah, well, you know, we all say that. Yeah, Lord, I love you. So Peter is telling the Lord, I love you, Lord. Yeah, I do love you. Go ahead. He saith unto him, feed my lambs. He said what? Feed my lambs. Feed my lambs. Feed my sheep. That's what we out here to do. If you say you love the Lord, you should be feeding the sheep. You should be learning these scriptures, understanding who you are, get it for yourself, and then ultimately going out there and teaching others, helping others get this truth, man, pushing this truth so we can get the hell up out of here, man. Jake got to wake up out of sleep, man. Go ahead. He said up unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? So Yahweh shall ask him twice, and he, he even asked him three times. Go ahead. He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. You know I love you, Lord. Peter's like, you know I love you. Go ahead. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said, Feed my sheep. You say you love the Lord? If you ain't feeding the sheep, do you really love the Lord, man? Go ahead. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time. So Peter was like, damn, Lord, like you, you don't ask me twice already. Now you ask me three times. If I love you, I already told you I love you. Go ahead. It says, he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall I say unto, unto him, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. So that's what we out here to do. All right. Go to, uh, commanded to go to the highways and hedges. So that's what we out here to do, man. At the end of the day, we out here to go to the highways and hedges. Hey, we, we, we was out here for that one brother. And hopefully the whole way, wherever he going, he's saying, Yahweh, Yahweh shot. Yahweh, Yahweh shot. You never know. You never know. Actually, grab, um before you get that, grab Hebrews 13 and man. 1. Be not forgetful. Yeah. You never know who you're coming across in these last days. You don't know if the Lord might send you an angel disguised like a bum. Whole time it's an angel. Right. You don't. You just don't know. So you got to treat everybody with a, a certain level of respect, because you don't know who you're dealing with, man. Right. And uh, even the elders and apostles say that. You know, a, a lot of times the angels might come as a bum, because you never know who that is, man. Because you might reject them. You know, you may say, Nah, fuck off or whatever. Whole time that's an angel seeing if you're gonna go do a good deed. Yep. Yep. Right. And it, hey, trips was even say how I said, judge not according to appearance. So, and we, we go into that concerning, like you might have a light skin, Jake, you know, someone that look like a so-called white man, the whole time it's an Israelite. Then you might have someone dark as fucking coal, charcoal, come up and the whole time it's a damn Edomite. Right. So you can't judge by what things seem to be. You never know, could have been an angel. All right, Hebrew, go ahead. This is Hebrews 13 and two. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. To do what? Entertain strangers. Entertain strangers. People you run across in the world, you don't know. It could be an angel, man. You know, especially if they give you a message, a holy message. Hey, man. All right, go ahead. For thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Some, hey, sometimes you entertain an angel, and that report is going right back to the throne. So you how boss me, how was shot. All right, so hey, and that that just goes to show, you know, 
we supposed to be out here. We supposed to be feeding the sheep, be be humble, uh, grab before honor is humility. Real quick, all right? Because right now, we, hey, we we not here to the scriptures say knowledge puffeth up. You don't get this knowledge and just try to be better than everybody else. You know, you gotta humble yourself down to you know. Like Paul said, to the Jews, I became a Jew. To the Gentiles, I became a Gentile. To this, I became that. You know? Don't try to just put yourself on some high pedestal, man. You got to deal with humility, man. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of Yahweh is the instruction of wisdom. The fear of Yahweh. So you're supposed to do this thing out of fear. Not out of uh, uh, pride and envy and, you know, just being a wicked-ass nigga, man. You know, go ahead. And before honor is humility. Before honor, brother's gonna be honored in the kingdom. Brother's gonna be honored on this side. You know, brother's gonna get that power. But before that comes, is humility. The Lord is teaching us all humility to be humble. All right. And once you've proven that you can deal with the humiliation process, then you have proven you can deal with the power. Okay. I believe that was wise words from the elder apostle of the bar. All right. But that's that's reality, you know. Once you prove that you can deal with the humiliation process, catching hell, you know, uh, uh, taking on these curses and still walking upright, then you've proven, hey, the Lord, you, the Lord can give you some power now, man. And that's what we want, man. At the end of the day, we want power over the nations. All right, but right now we're on a mission, doing the work of the Lord, man. Go ahead. Abby. This is Luke 14 and 23, and the Lord said unto the servant. Go out into the highways and hedges. Yeah, so if you're saying, you got a lot of people saying, I'm a servant of the Lord. A lot of Christians say, I'm a servant of the Lord. You know, well, are you going to the highways and hedges? You know, going to the street corners? You ain't going to find the truth in these churches, man. The Christian church, the, the Roman Catholics, the seven-day Adventists, you know, Buddhism, the temples of for Buddha, hey, all that. You ain't going to find the truth there. You're going to find the truth on the street corners from the Israelites, all right? It says, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out unto the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. Compel them to come in. That's what we out here doing. Go ahead. And it says, that my house may be filled. The house of the Lord, which is really the elect, all right? The elect waking up, you know, before you knew you was an Israelite, you said, I was black, I was Puerto Rican, I was Dominican, I was Mexican. And then you convert to being who you truly are. You come back to your nationality, you know, and really these other, you can't convert if you're not an Israelite, all right? Um, grab um, fishers of men, all right? Because that's what we out here doing, we fishing. And our, our, our fishing pole is the scriptures. That's the bait on the, on the uh, pole, is the scriptures, man. And like the brother had quoted the scripture earlier, my sheep hear my voice. We got the scripture actually, my sheep hear my voice, all right? We out here at nighttime. We think we think we just gonna be, you know, teaching the brothers over the camera. Next thing you know, Jake come up, ask questions, you know. Go ahead. This is Matthew 4 and 19. It says, and he has said unto him, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Yeah, so we following Yahweh wherever he goes, man. Alright? Through this wicked world, you gotta follow Yahweh. Follow the scriptures, man. All right, uh, don't put your trust in man. Put your trust in your Howard Bosch and your Howard Shad, man. Read it again. Oh, you know, if you got something, if you want to grab something, and yeah, then we'll go back to that. But the Lord is making us fishers of men. All right? Uh, this is Zechariah 10 and 8. It says, I will hiss for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them, mm. and they shall increase as they have increased. And that's what the Lord doing. He's hissing at you. He sent his prophets out to give you warning. You know, so he can wake you up, gather you. At, at the end of the day, we want to be gathered by Yahweh Shai when he comes back. We want to make it into that chariot. We want to see Yahweh Shai, see America burn. So we have a mission. We're on a mission. You brothers watching the video, you on a mission. And you got to fight your mission, man. Don't be sitting on the couch, twiddling your thumbs and shit. You know, what do I do? Learn the scriptures, man. And then once you learn, once you get on a certain level, you go out there, you become a teacher, man. Right. All right. Because the information is given out freely, man, for you to learn, for you to come back and serve you. How about Shemuel Shai? You know, and what I read, Zechariah 10 and 8, I will hiss for them. And, and it's, it's so spiritual because the Lord is our shepherd. All right. When, when you see a real shepherd in today's time and you and they call the sheep, 
he hits it for them. He has a certain signal. Anybody could do that signal, but it will not hear that unless it's that shepherd, man. That one shepherd. Okay? And the Lord is coming is calling the elect out of their out of their dead estate to come back to serve him. Yeah, and really the Lord is the one who blinded you two thirds, the two thirds out here, whomever they may be. Uh, you know, earlier in the week, I think it was you actually dropped a video in the chat about the, the two thirds. Don't be, be oh, yeah. careful who you call the two thirds. Bar, bar, yeah, yeah. Yep. And that video is heavy, man. Because you can't call nobody. You really can't call nobody a two third because you don't know if you a fucking two thirds. We was all two thirds at one point. We was all two thirds before we came into this truth. Hey, uh, the, the, the man of the Lord could call you a two thirds. You know, you don't know. That's why you don't. You just don't. If you're gonna address the two thirds, you just say the two thirds. Whoever they is, you can't just point at somebody and say, "Oh, he is this two third ass nigga." You don't know if that's a, that's one of the elect. He might have just not had his calling yet. Scripture says, "Many are called, few, few are, are chosen. chosen." Just because you got this truth first, doesn't necessarily mean that everybody else that don't got it right now they ain't gonna get it. You know, your family, your, you know, certain friends, it just might not be their time to get it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you gotta stay. You always gotta stay meek and humble in this truth, man. Yep. Because hey, you may you may uh project this truth onto them. They might hear it, they might put it to the side. They might come back a few weeks later, a year later. Hey man, what are you talking about? They may they may stop at it. But that third time, man, they're gonna come and get it, man. You never know, man. Well, you really never know when your house is gonna wake the leg up, man. Yeah. All right. Jake gotta humble down, man. You know, going to camp and just calling any any and everybody a two-third, you don't know. You, you re We really don't know. We don't know if we did, because if you're just saying he the two-third, then what, are you saying that you the elect? You you, you, you just point fingers saying, oh, you two-third. So what are you saying about yourself? Are you saying that you the elect? You know, and this is something we all got to work on, man. You know, but real quick, this is a Sirach 3 and 18. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before Yahweh shy. So we got to humble ourselves, man. The, the, the meek shall inherit the earth. We want to be meek, humble, lowly. You know, the scriptures say, don't uh, don't make yourself of the number. We don't. I can't tell you I'm the elect. I don't know. Hey, the Lord can bug brothers out tomorrow. So you don't want you don't want that. That's why they, you know you got the Psalms. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. You can't get high minded, man. You can't get puffed up just because you got this knowledge. You might have been in this thing five, 10, 15, 20 years, and you just think that the Lord just can't take your ass out. Nah, man, stay humble. Right. You know, and and you will never you will never fail if you stay humble, man. Go ahead. And that's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect, man. There you go. We're prisoners of hope because one day you could be in, one day you be out, man. And we, hey, at, at the end of the day, we're striving to be of that number. Man. We don't know if we're going to be in that number. You got to endure it until the end, and the same going to be saved. Man. Man, ain't none of us endured yet all the way to the end. It's not the end yet. That time hasn't happened yet. That time hasn't happened. That's why you just got to be uh be humble with it, man. All right? Let me read this again. Yeah, go ahead. This is Matthew 4 and 19. I'm going to start at 18. And it says, And Yahweh Shai, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, uh -huh. casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. They were fishers. Go ahead. And he said unto him, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Yep. And that's that's what uh, they, they ended up doing. So they was out there fishing, and Yahweh Shai came. They was literally fishing, and Yahweh Shai said, Look, follow me. I'm going to make you fishers of men. And that's what we out here to do. We fishing for the elect. You're not fishing for every and everybody. All right? And when you even when you fish, you might catch a bad fish. You gotta throw the fish back out. Right. You know, you might catch more bad fish than you do good fish. That's all right. But the point is that you out here, you you throwing the bait. You know, you're doing something to forward this ministry, man. All right. Got anything else? Let me see if I get this. Uh, I got something real quick. This is a uh, First Corinthians eight and one. Now it's touching things offered unto idols. We know that we all have knowledge, all right? So you don't, don't, you don't just try to puff up because you got some knowledge, man. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edify it. Charity is what's going to edify at the end of the day. Don't just be puffed up with all this knowledge and you think you just, you know, some some high he-man, macho man. No, we're here to, to humble ourselves, man. As teachers, as ministers, as prophets, as men of the Lord, we're supposed to be humbling ourselves every single day. Stop trying to exalt yourself or seek some type of preeminence, seek some, some type of position. 
man. Fuck all of that, man. Go out here and feed the sheep. Do the work, man. All right? This is Matthew 10 and 5. Then 12, Yahabashah sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. We're not out here for the, for the heathens, man. Now, they're going to hear this truth, but we're not out here for you. The heathens come up, we say, look, man, you're going into slavery. You're going to be destroyed here, man. All right? And we try the spirit by the spirit. All right? And says that into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Right. But go rather to the law sheep of the house of Israel. Yep. And as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what we're telling you. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. But before the kingdom of heaven comes, this place got to be destroyed, man. Right. So we go into World War III, the destruction, the, the crash of the dollar, all of that stuff. That has to come first before the kingdom of heaven. All right. Right. Verse 8, heal the sick. Do what? Heal the sick. And how can you heal the sick? With his word. You know what? Real quick. Oh. Uh, yep. Scripture say you are cleansed by the word. W washing of the word. Washing and, the word. Um, this right here. Word, heal. Baptized by the All word. Things. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 16 to 12. It said, heal the sick. It says, for it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health. But thy word, O Yahawashai, which healeth all things. So the word is what heals you. The Lord ain't telling you to go become a doctor and, you know, get a master's degree to be a doctor. No, heal the sick spiritually, you know. But right. go ahead. Hey, that was uh, spiritual because um, when the Jake man pulled up, he said, man, I was hungry, but y'all fed me. Yep, yep. Hey, we feed in the sheep, man, feed wherever sheep. it may be. That's now, it. now he's filled spiritually. Okay, and now he's going to feed himself physically. There you go. All right. But it says, verse 8, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Yep, so we freely got this word, so we ain't going to charge you for it. We're going to freely give you the word. All right, we ain't going to tax you for the word. We're going to freely give you the word because that's what's commanded of us to do, man. All right. I got one more. Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And exhorting them to continue in the faith. We're telling you, brothers that got this truth, continue in the faith, man. Don't give up. Don't stop the fight. Fight the good fight of faith. Never give up. This world is at the end. We're at the end of this shit, man. Right. When you go into exhorting, it goes through to like uplifting, motivating. You know, to strive, keep going. Right, but you got Jake that was always trying to kick brothers while they down or bring brothers down or trying to he man, macho man, look what I can do. It's not about none of that, man. Humble yourself. Help brothers get on a level, man. Because we're all striving for the same penny, the same reward. Man. That's it. Okay. Our main job is to do what we have to do and move and be the elect so we could be on the chariot with Yahweh Shai, man. Let every man work out his, his own, own salvation, salvation with fear, fear and trembling. trembling. All right? You can't save nobody in this thing. Stop trying to save others. Oh, you can't even save yourself. Work out your own salvation, man. And help others get to where they got to be, man. Be a teammate, bro. Yeah, don't don't be puffed up and, you know, he manned up. Nah, be, be a teammate. Help forward the team. Help forward the ministry, man. Go ahead. Right, and you see that in sports, man. You see LeBron James, you know, helping out a rookie so he could be on that top level. There you go. But see, LeBron James is on a high level, but he he's, uh, he's lowered himself to teach that brother one-on-one, -on -one, hey, this and this and this and that. that the same thing is going to be in his truth, man. That's you right. Have, you have brothers that are that elders, top, that have been in for years. But they still help the younger brothers that come in his truth to be on that level, man. Yeah, and they humble themselves. You got to humble yourself. You got to exalt the next brother over you. You know, don't be here trying to puff up and, be, you know. Nah, man, help help brothers get where they got to be, man. No one gives a damn how much, you know, you do. Help the next brother get on that level, man. Right. This is Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Right. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Much tribulation, hard times, distress, anguish. That's how we're going to get to the kingdom, man. It's not going to be a cakewalk. Got to go in at the straight gate. Straight and narrow is the way, man. All right? Got anything else? You want to say anything? No. Nah. You know, hey, at the end of the day, the elect 
is going to have to go through the same things that this whole world is going to have to go through, man. Right. Temptation, Jacob's trouble. All right, but it's all about how our faith is going to last in the days, man. The faith. Lord is seeing the faith of what you got. So everything right here is a preseason, right. you know, a practice. Hey, hey, you're gonna fall down sometimes. You're gonna might, you might be good this time. Right. But it's all a practice, cause when that time comes, you're gonna be by yourself. That's it. That's it. That's it. And the Lord gonna ask you what you did for Him. Not, He's not gonna look at every other man around. He's gonna say, "What'd you do for me?" All right. So, hey, at the end of the day, we're here to help brothers uh, push the truth. You know, and we're really here for the elect. At the end of the day, majority of our people they ain't gonna get it. But at the same time, you don't know who a two third is, man. All right, you don't know who the elect is. Do your part. You know, strive for the mastery. Strive that you be the elect. Humble yourself. All right. So with that, Lord willing, it was edifying to the hopeful elect. Call her law. Yeah. How about Shimmy? How about Shimmy? Kakudash. No honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone. So next time we say shalom. Shalom. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Soon. Soon. Shalom. Shalom, man.